In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to catch on. Now, I taught this phrase a while ago and I said it meant to understand something. When you're in a class and the teacher teaches something, eventually you catch on, but it has another meaning as well. When you say that something is catching on or that something is going to catch on, it means that everybody's going to start doing it. I wear blue shirts with a collar and someday maybe this will catch on and everyone around the world will wear blue shirts with collars. I, I doubt that will happen, but anyway, stay tuned because the comment this week uses this phrase. We'll talk about that in a sec. The second uh, phrase I wanted to teach you today is to be a catch. Now, this is kind of a, a funny statement. When there's a guy or a girl who's really attractive or wealthy or a lot of people think they would make a good partner, we say that that person is a catch. If someone was to marry someone who's a doctor and has a lot of money and drives a fancy car, you might say, oh, he's a, he's a real catch. He's a catch. Or maybe uh, someone in your family is dating someone who's family is wealthy and you might say oh she's a catch anyways to review when you catch on or when something catches on it means that it becomes popular and a lot of people around the world start doing it and when you say that someone is a catch it means that they are attractive and people really really want to date them anyways let's look at a comment from a previous video this comment is from mode eggs you're completely ahead of the game mr bob not just one step ahead you're in a league of your own i'd say Thank you. P.S. I like how people are starting to adopt the three emoji thing at the end of their comments. In my response, I've noticed that as well. The three emoji thing is catching on. So I use today's phrase when I replied to Mode. Thanks, Mode, for that. Yes, people are starting to uh, put three emojis. I don't know why I started doing that. I usually try to pick three emojis that um, make some sense. Sometimes it's just random, but usually I try to have them make some sense. Hey, I'm standing in my shed this is the location i'm going to walk out into the sun in a sec so i'll need my sunglasses but this is the location doesn't look like much now where the flower shop will be by the way the road is right there oh they're loading a big piece of equipment up but right here is where the flower shop will be i have to put a stone driveway in here and i have to kind of build a storefront that's where the wall that's being built from a fence will go um, but anyways just thought I'd show you that. It needs to be cleaned up quite a bit. It's quite messy, but uh, I will get to that. Let's uh, sneak out here for a sec though and see what's going on by the road here. They fixed up a big portion of the road earlier and it looks like they've come to pick up this big piece of machinery. Let's go take a closer look at it. I think this is the machine that they use uh, to, I think it takes the asphalt from the truck at one end and then it comes out the other end and it goes into a machine that lays it nicely on the road. I think this is kind of an in-between machine. Uh, as you know, I, uh, I don't actually know a lot about road building, but uh, I definitely think that that is what that machine is for. By the way, they didn't pave here but they paved from the bridge way down there. There's a bridge uh, almost four kilometers to my local town. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the people who live there have a nice new road and uh, I have some nice new pavement to walk on when I go for my walk. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you in a couple days with another uh, short English lesson. Bye.